Welcome back to Goldner Woodland Farm. I'm Keith. Um, we're here today. Uh, it's on Saturday, April 9th. Um, going to do some raised beds to plant some onions and some other kinds of vegetables. And we're using the uh, bladders from the IBC totes. So we cut them in half. And I cut some slots in the bottom so that the water doesn't sit in there too much. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, put some mulch in the bottom, uh, some wood chip mulch that I have. I'm gonna put that in the bottom and then some topsoil and we're gonna give that a shot. the rake of the shovel. Well, there we go. Nice braised beds. We're all ready for planting. We're going to take three more of these over to the orchard area, garden area. I'm going to use two of them just like I did for the elderberry. I'm going to cut the tops off, cut a hole in the bottom, and I'm going to put them around some uh, two fig trees uh, that I just bought that I need to plant. So I have two fig plants. They're hardy figs, supposed to uh, be okay in this climate. Uh, so I'm going to put two of these, one around each of those, and then I'm going to take another one and cut it in half and make uh, uh, some more um, raised beds for uh, some onion, uh, garlic, um, rhubarb, and I also have some uh, Brussels sprouts and beets. I'm not sure if those are seeds. I'm not sure if I'm going to plant them today, but uh, try to get all that stuff in today. Uh, this morning was Terrible crazy weather, snow, cold, windy, uh, sun's trying to come out now, it's supposed to get up to 50 here a little bit later, uh, but not till about 5 o'clock. So uh, hopefully get some more of this stuff done as the day improves.
So I put wood chip mulch in the bottom first. And then we're going to put the topsoil on top. And then it'll match up with these two here. And then I'll be ready to plant. So far, so good today. I got onions. We got yellow onions on this side, red onions up on that side, and then I put garlic across here. That's in the first bed. Uh, put some more garlic across this end of the second one, and then two rhubarb plants in the second one. So of those two raised beds, uh, they're planted, and then I have these two over here. Uh, still have, uh, they're still empty, so I can plant those. So I'm going to plant some beets uh, in one of these raised beds, and then I'm going to uh, plant uh, one of the blueberry plants. I got one more blueberry bush. I'm going to put it in the uh, in the blueberry enclosure here, and then. I'm going to uh, plant these two fig trees. Uh, again, these are hardy figs. It's supposed to do okay in this climate. And I'm going to plant them uh, down here in the orchard. And that's the project for tonight. Now we've had a fair amount. We've had a fair amount of rain since I put this uh, topsoil in here on Sunday. But I'm going to try to plant, plant these beets in here. So it says to uh, put, them in, put them in rows 12 inches apart, about a half inch deep. So I'm going to start down here. I'm going to make a, a row like this. Another row across here, and then one across here. We'll see how far I get with those. I'm in the blueberry enclosure. I'm going to plant uh, this one other blueberry plant in here. Pull up some of this still grass.
So these are Chicago Hardy Figs. I got these at Tractor Supply. Uh, they say to uh, their hardiness zone five to eight. Uh, spacing is three to six feet. So I'm gonna put them fairly close together here in the orchard. Uh, and again, the idea here is I'm going to plant these and then I'm going to put um, one of those IBC tote bladders around each one of them. Uh, so those totes will be almost touching in order to have the spacing of three to six feet. So um, that's the plan right now. So there's the persimmons planted there. Another persimmons over here. I'm just going to put them kind of in a line between here, probably close together right around in here. I got done things I wanted to get done tonight. Uh, I spread out this old canvas that was on my sort of my gazebo, my trellis out behind the house that was all kind of rotted away. Got the uh, beets planted, so I planted this whole tote, this whole raised bed in beets. So there's maybe five rows of beets in there. Got the blueberry planted inside the blueberry enclosure. And got the figs planted in here. Put the totes around. I used the uh, little part that we cut out for, to uh, make sure we could reach in to load the firewood into the into the uh, empty, in, empty tote. I pounded those in to help hold these in place. Um, so the not much to the plant but it's it's in that hole down there um, and uh, same thing here there's a hopefully it'll come up out of that hole so uh, we'll have to wait and see <laughs> 